Hello, ladies, gentlemen, children of the night, computer gaming enthusiasts, and the three people that watch these videos. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Um, yeah, we're back with some more Vampire the Masquerade. Um, I've kind of got a plan figured out for how we're going to do the rest of the quests in this game before we go after the sarcophagus. So first things first, I'm going to take a look for this CD. I know that I was complaining about it for quite a while, but I'm going to just take a crack at it. We'll see. I mean, if it's really, really not interesting, I'll just fast forward through it and see if I can find it. Uh, but we'll take a crack at that. Then we're going to take a look at the library that Beckett asked us to do. And then, since we have to go to the Giovanni Mansion, we're going to hopefully finish up this occultish personality quest for Pisha. Although, I'm not sure. Uh, there seems to be contested uh, rumors on the internet to whether or not that quest works. Um, like, I don't know if that first item is brought forward or if it was in the museum and I can never get back there. So... If that one gets failed, oh well. Um, and then after that, we're just going to go straight to the Giovanni Mansion and probably get our butt kicked. But there you go. All right, so that's the plan. Let's get moving. First of all, I'm going to check my email. Surveillance shot of a certain Kui Jin. Be degrading to Photoshop it into some tacky poster. So that's what I did. It's yours for a song. Actually, a tape. Something Amalia did before I put a bite on her. Yikes. I like to keep the kids in check. Last year's jock shot magazine swimsuit shoot. Two hard pointy reasons why they pulled it off re retail shelves. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yuck. Okay. Um. All right. So if we stumble into a, vi a video cassette of Amalia's swimsuit shoot. We'll do that, but I'm not going to waste more of my time doing that, especially when I really don't care that much about the rewards. So let's just boogie. I'm going to take my steak just in the off chance that I need it. I don't think I will, but maybe. Also, I went and saw Suicide Squad not too long, and this is amazingly similar to what the new Harley Quinn looks like. Just kind of ridiculous. She's got a little bit of blue and pink in her hair, but otherwise, uh, this game predicted it first, I guess. I don't really think that's true. Whatever. All right, so my plan is to enter the Warrens from the shortcut way that um, we kind of take... Jeez, that guy stresses me out. Uh, Enter from the shortcut that is in Hollywood that you can get to through that one particular um, gravestone. And then I'm going to look around down there and see what I can find. Because if I were a game programmer and I wanted people to actually go and do quests, I wouldn't put it in the dungeon part. I would put it in the, you know, town part. But I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm looking for a cab. I'm gonna have Kane drive us down there and see what we can come up with. <sighs> Man, I've been playing this game for over a year. It's kind of ridiculous. I guess I did take a pretty significant break. Um, just drive, buddy. Head to Hollywood. But yeah, I've been playing this game for over a year. I'm looking forward to the next game that we're going to play. It's very short, so it won't have the same trouble as this one. Um, it's called The Magic Circle, and it's about playing living, existing, through broken, like, prototype games. So it's going to be right up my alley and perfect for the channel. Uh, it was also recommended by... It was, like, unanimously voted by the four or five people that watch my videos. It was, it was pretty, pretty good. So... I'm excited to do, give that a try. Um, that was actually bought for me for the channel by a friend, which I really appreciate, and you know who you are. I will not name drop you on this channel. What is going on? What were you doing? What are you doing? Were you just like sitting on this part of the fire hydrant? You don't want to talk about it now because you don't want to look not cool. Did I go the wrong way? Where am I going? 
Clash. I suppose I should also hit up the nightclub at some point. A Vesuvius. I guess it's a strip club, not a nightclub. Okay. I don't know the difference between the two. Um, crap, no, wait, I'm an idiot. The entrance to this thing is behind the sin bin. I always forget. So it's actually on this side, right back here somewhere. I'm just wasting your guys' time walking back and forth down the streets. Here we go. You guys find something interesting to look at here? Because to me, that's horrifying. But you're into it, huh? All right, well, whatever floats your goat. That rat is very strong. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure, yikes, where Bertram's CD is, but I will do my best. Also, um, one thing I wanted to touch upon is one of the people who commented on my video, uh, Brian, said that a possible solution to the part that I had to glitch was um, healing in the blade chamber, and I did in fact go back to... Uh, I'll save and try to do that. And I think in the original game, that's how you're supposed to solve that. However, in my copy of it, after I no-clipped, things were all messed up and it didn't work. But I think that most of that is because no-clip messes up the trigger or something fierce. So I'm going to really try to refrain from that if I can in the future. Because now I'll never get to see. I'll never get to know. Where... I I never remember which one of these it is. It allows you to go into it. That much I remember. Uh, this one? Yeah, here we go. Yes! Awesome. Alright. Okay. So, coming at this kind of backwards, and, um... Blue blood? Hmm. Well, I'll take it. No reason not to. All right, so now here we are. So we're going to go back. Hey, people. All right. Um, the Warren. Okay. It's actually kind of interesting that there's apparently supposed to be more Nosferatu living down here that you just don't meet. Alright, um... Horrible red ooze. Check. Um, this room is where I cribbed a bunch of blood packs from earlier. This is where Amalia hangs out. What's up? I'll say hi in just one second. I just want to look around real quick. That looks like... Is that the mouse? Yeah, that's the mouse. I was like... Did Vampire the Masquerade, like, predict vaping? <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, okay. Sure, I'll find one and bring it back. Um. Okay. So now we're looking for multiple Amalia-themed items. She wants a picture of herself on a magazine, and he wants a swimsuit shoot. Hey, what's up? Dude, you're another Nosferatu. What are you doing? Hi. What? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> hey, uh, hey there. Self-replicating embedded virus or anything. 
Maybe I'll come back later. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mithet. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? Luke Roy's boy. Surprised you actually made it down here, huh? You have a very old manish face. And I don't really mean to insult you, but okay, camera. Whoa, okay, I'm sorry, I take it back. You can come back out. I didn't mean to tease you. Um surprised? What do you mean? I've been following your progress on the cameras yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers in the sewers like a bad sequel to Chad up there <laughs> yeah you saw that I could use some help nothing I could do from here those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes built back in the technological dark ages sorry but I don't do analog newbie this guy has some sweet camera angles hey I've got a few questions Go ahead. uh what do you do me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading his uh, ne network. Upgrading what? <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Alright, cool. What else do you have to do? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking shoes hanging in the wind. Dude, maybe I can help you out. Yeah, you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. you make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. All right, I'm in. What do you got? Uh, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. All right, cool. Uh, how did you end up here? Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Town codes, DOD, you name it. One time... Okay, that is pretty awesome. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Didn't, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost give it up. But I caught a break one night. I finally broke in. Yeah, and what was it? Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> what a here I am. How's on life since then? Are you kidding? <laughs> I love a shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna wear the beauty contrast, but wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. I'm glad to hear it, man. Thanks for the story, but I'm out of here. I will try to take on your quest. I don't know. If I were someone who used the computer a lot, I would invest in a chair that I would actually sit in instead of standing around next to my computer but you know what you know what it's fine it's fine i'm not gonna judge to each his own i have a sit and stand desk at work and i do not stand very often although i probably should all right this is yeah we're gonna have to see here come on what is just a is that a ladder okay yeah i think that's a ladder i I really, ouch, don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Let's see here. Um, toasty, nasty red water. Lucky Star Motel. Flat 
flickery junk pile. I'm not finding anything. Dead dude. Chiron like underground lake. For real though, do I do not remember this at all. Is this where I came down? I like fell down into this? I don't remember. Hey, that's awesome. I actually found it. Oh, that makes this all worth it. <laughs> all right, um, what am I supposed to do with that? Turn to Santa Monica and give it to him. All right, well, can do, buddy. This place is crazy. What is this red water supposed to be? I mean, I can guess it's probably not supposed to be bright red, but like, what, what even is this place? All right, and how do you get over there? I don't think that goes anywhere, does it? Weird. All right, well, now that I've found what I'm looking for. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, well, that was great. Now I have to walk across the water. Whatever. Huh. Ah, ouch, ouch, ouch. Wait, it hurts you once and, and then it's fine? That's really weird. I guess maybe you get scalded and then you adjust to the temperature. Or maybe it's a bug. I mean, there are plenty of bugs in this game, so not too worried about it. Okay. This is Amalia's room. Nope, that's Mitnick's room. Okay. I get all turned around down here. Here we go. This is the way back out. What is that? Is that an outhouse? Oh, it's just the door. All right, well, never mind. Quest complete. So the developers must have taken a real liking to this place because there's just tons of detail. Like maybe they planned for there to be more down here. I can't believe that that's true because the the Warren's part runs on forever and ever and ever. I mean, I was down there for like two or three hours. So I, I can't really say one way or the other, but. <laughs> All right. So let's wander back out of here and return our, his CD to Bertram. And then I believe what I said I owed you was a trip to the library, which I will have to check it which area it's in. Because I know it's in the sewers, um, but I don't remember which area of the sewers. Probably the one where I got the quest, so that's not too hard to figure out. One of the things that I think I've mentioned about this game before that I still really like is it makes great use of its space. I mean, yeah, it is an open world game and you do wander around and yes, there is a certain amount of ridiculousness in that having things kind of tucked in like they are, but compared to modern games like Skyrim, uh, there's just so much stuff in a, such a small space that you're never really bored. Like it's completely reasonable for me to open the wrong door and end up with another quest, which is something that just really doesn't happen in Skyrim unless you go looking for it. And I mean, there's, I like going looking for it too, but in this game, you just stumble upon it organically, which makes it really great for let's playing. And also just um, kind of a really good game. And it really allows you to get lost in the world because I mean, every, every building has a terrible, horrible, bloody story attached to it. And everything else so it's really a lot of fun and i don't know and even though i've been doing a pretty complete playthrough i am i believe the commenter fall star on one of my other videos um basically talked about how much i'm missing and how terribly optimized i am and that is completely true i just walked to the wrong side of the place but um yeah, I am absolutely, like, the worst character. I have just barely scraped by through most of this stuff. 
and um, that's just how it goes. And so you can uh, play this game and be much better at combat, or um, one of the more fun challenges is you can play as a Malkavian who's insane. And like, like we're talking like cartoonish uh, Joker and Harley Quinn kind of insane. So it's pretty funny. Hey, man, what's up? Ah, uh, excellent. Yeah, here I did. Here you go. Ah, uh, excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes. What's up, dude? What did I get? What do you need? What's the deal with you and Therese? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Yeah, all right. Did you know Jeanette and Therese are the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. What a pain in my dead ass for sure. <laughs> sure it was. See ya, man. Wait, a, more vicious than a pain in your ass. <sighs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Tell me about your drama queens. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's I... moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I can care less. Hmm. Fame and power, not your thing? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. It's funny, I wanted to ask you something. Like, when I get to go. <laughs> Alright, what did... What did he teach me? I don't understand. Oh, he gave me the inside scoop on computers. Um... Hacking. Oh my gosh. Did I already have that maxed out? I might have had that maxed out. I'm not sure anymore. But hey, I'm better at hacking now. That's something. Um, what's hacking? It's wits. So I should do that. I'm actually going to just save these experience points because I kind of need to flex in place a little bit. I'm not quite sure. All right, all right, buddy. All right. Let's see. So the library is downtown in the sewers. So I guess that's where we're headed. More time underground. In. And they said unlife wasn't going to be glamorous. I just spend all day in the sewers doing whatever I want. Which is pretty much errands for random people, but <clears throat> whatever. Cool. I like how that knife is still there. I should just be able to jump down any old manhole and then find my way from here. Let's see. As long as I'm not in like that separate little part of sewers that I got stuck in before, or got stuck trying to find it before. Neat, that is locked and doesn't help. Okay, so from here, this isn't a real map. Gosh darn it. All right, let's just wander around then. Surface access, here we go. All right, I'm looking for the library, number 10. I'm here. Hey, I'm pretty close to the library. Do I go that way? E. E. Access point E is that way. So I literally walked right by it. But how How do you get into the library then? Would E be the access point for that? I don't think so. I'm going to poke around here a little bit. There's E. What is that? Nothing. All right, so there's nothing here. F is closed up. That's closed up. This door is locked. Okay, so I guess it's access point E. And that was a lot easier to find than I thought. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, access point E. Here we go. That leads to that way, and this leads to... Aha! We found it. All right, I'm gonna take a second to save here because we are in a say, strange new place and I just don't wanna go back in the Warrens and get that CD ever again. 
Alright. So, what are we supposed to be doing in this library? Check out what's going on in the library. That's not very descriptive. Is this full of ghosts? That turn it on or off? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Um, okay. That's the, oop, what is this? Oh. Hey, didn't our Nosferatu friend just mention some vacuum tubes? There we go. How's that? Is that better? That sounds better. Wonderful. This is a very large freight elevator. Alright. Hmm. Do you have a gun ready? We probably need one. Alright, I always attempt to feed and I don't know what causes that. No other game on Earth uses the F key for anything. Okay, that's a complete lie, but you know what I mean. Ground floor, please. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of that elevator. Wow, this place is great. I have never been here before. Whoa. Ouch, crap. I didn't want to kill people, Beckett. You did not tell me that I was gonna have to fight security guards. It was like a whole night at the mall, night at the, night at the museum thing, except this isn't a museum, it's a library. Maybe I should try crouching? I'm not quite sure. But you know what? I'll tell you what's happening. This is a weird library, man. Super weird. A cult power-up. Information by Mumbly Joe. Reading is fun. Insert card. Please insert a library card. Okay, I don't have one. Um, Welp. Guess it's time for me to get my library card. So what does this occult power-up do? It isn't a WW... JD bracelets. You have no idea what it could be. Is that? Hold on. Two occult items. I'm going to ask Pisha if this is one of them. It seems like it could be. That is a very loud guard that doesn't really care about what I'm doing. It's cool, dude. You just you just do your thing. I'm just going to go I'm just going to go in here. You just don't worry about it, man. And this looks like the library from totally like the library from Ghostbusters. That's so cool. All right. I can't believe I've never done this environment before at all. Apparently my other two playthroughs never ever Wow, okay, well this is really cute, but completely worthless. Um, okay. Where'd the guard go? There he is. Alright, well, we're just gonna trigger him again because I can't be arsed. <laughs> what is... well, there's nothing down here? Ouch. Dude, come on. Okay, 
Okay, hold on just a second here, buddy. I'm just gonna chill out over here. Um, if we paired the elevator up to the library, now you can continue to look for trouble. Okay, so I have not found what I'm looking for, I guess. I mean, makes sense, but yeah, don't know. Raven statue. I'm surprised the guards, you know, haven't called any sort of security or anything. Oh, I might be an idiot. I was gonna go, I should go look through that main, what is this? That is weird. I don't understand. Okay, um, I'm gonna go look for a library card to see if maybe that's something that would help. Listen, man, just just do what you gotta do, buddy, all right? Nope, nope, nope. We did check all three of those. Okay, you just keep, you just keep shooting, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. There's gotta be something in this side room. Let's go, that's a drinking fountain. All right, um, looking for perhaps a blank library card? Maybe a non-blank library card? Huh. All of these well-rendered books. Not one that I can interact with. Here's the card catalogs. So that's actually, I might insult your intelligence by bringing it up. Oh, wait, there's a book. Aha, a library card. Awesome. Okay, so now we know where we're going. But um, back before computers were able to hold the entire library catalog on them, and almost every library that I've been to now has them, the old Milwaukee library that I used to go to used to have card catalogs. And it was very, very similar. It would just have an index card with every book that they have in alphabetical order. And you could just go down the list and try to find what you were looking for, and then you could go find them on the stacks. It was actually... I. I mean, computers are super convenient, and I work in the computing industry, so I'm not one to get to judge, but it was really fun to use the card catalog when I was a kid, because, like, you'd find the books you wanted, but at the time, the card catalog didn't know whether they were checked out or in, so you had to go on this, like, adventure to figure out where they were. So, it was pretty cool. I, I liked it pretty much. All right. Insert card. hack a dack a dack Unlock. What switch unlocked? What switch? Switch unlocked. I'm hoping it's obvious. Listen, man, I really respect your effort, but I just wish you would leave me alone. Gosh. Um, did it open the door over here? Does this door have a light on it now? Nope. All right, let's go back to the stairway where we were before and see what we can get into. Yeah, you know, buddy, you're doing a great job. Oh, you two. You both are just doing a fantastic job. Just just wonderful. Just great. Okay. <laughs> um, not going down that elevator unless I have to. Open a secret entrance nearby? Man, am I messing up this quest. I should just read the quest log immediately and stop trying to figure things out for myself. <laughs> Ouch. You know, I'm getting really sick of you guys. Where's my celerity? Nope, not that one. Uh, presence. Yes! Be scared of me! That's, that's right. Oh, well, they're not that scared of me. Great. Um, this is the wrong room. Ooh! Alright. 
This is terrible. Mumbly Joe, where are your secrets? I keep thinking it's part of that floor. Insert card. Lock. Okay, unlock. Okay, home. Quit. All right, secret chamber. There's an elevator or an umbrella that's open inside. Isn't that bad luck? All right, so maybe it's like, yeah, okay. Follow the painting. Now, what did that open? All right, it was something to do with that. Ho, 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 what the frick? Dude, I've seen some crazy stuff, but upside down skull candle holders takes the cake. That's pretty sweet. And fresh blood? What is going on down here? This is like a level from Quake. Okay, well that's not nowhere. What is this? That dude's head is on fire. Was that me? I'm not that good at melee. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, it, it seems my own nights and provides the The heck? Once again, I see young to embrace the beast. What is going on? Smell the sweetest blood of my brother in the world for very hands. But enough with the pleasantries. Witness power of my flesh transformed into the vessel of your destruction. Do their well, Billy Mays is really mad. You're at the junkyard in Santa Monica. Time to die. Oh, okay, he has a gun. That is not at all fair. I have a broadsword, but he has a gun. Where's my broadsword? Alright, so... We figured out the uh, cheap strategy here is he just doesn't want to bite me. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. He's no gargoyle. Oh, yep, yeah, fine. You you go ahead. I'm just going to hide over here, man. I'm just going to hide behind the thingy and just, yeah, it'll be fine. You, you don't mind, right? I'll just heal. It's not a big deal. Also, La Sombra is, like, incorrectly capitalized, I think. Or maybe I've been incorrectly capitalizing it every time I've played Vampire since my entire life. But whatever, man. <sighs> really? All right. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll just... I'll be there. Just give me five minutes. I'll come fight you. I'll use your own magical sacrificial sword on you and just, like... Make, you know, make it 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. All right. Yep, that's fine. You go ahead. Oh, you went up all the way up there, but then you decided you wanted to be down there. Okay. Yeah, my favorite spot. All right. Zig, Zag, Serpentine. Done. Did I get a, is that a better gun? That is in fact a much better gun. Awesome. Well, that makes this trip worth it, even if I didn't get a broadsword, which I totally did. Um, all right. Stop the Sabbat ritual and save the intended victim too. I will accept that. Can I touch this? Yeah, hold on. All right, the coffin's just for cool looks. There's nothing else really going on here. Awesome. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to make my way back out of the library, but I think that you guys should take it easy. 
have a good night and take care of yourselves. I will see you soon. This is all the time I have to record now, so the next couple updates might take a while. Um, normally I like to recruit, record two or three in a row, but I don't have that luxury because I have to work tomorrow. So I will see all of you again real soon. Bye guys.